Hello, and welcome to another episode of Skyrim Plus. Today, we're featuring Cronepsis' Clear Spring Cottage. Let's check out the map. Here we are at Clear Spring Cottage. We're near the Atronach Stone, Bonestroom Crest, Windhelm, and here we are again back at the cottage. When you arrive, the first thing you'll notice is Clear Spring Tarn. If you have the Sky Shards mod, there's one in the water. And if you have the Swans and Ducks mod enabled, they'll be in there too. There is the front of the home itself. And to the right, we have a wood chopping block, a bench, and an outdoor dining area. Let's head inside. We start in the kitchen with a butter churn, oven, salt and flour storage, cooked foods, fruits and veggie storage, three cupboards, and a juniper mead barrel where you can fill bottles. On the other side of the kitchen, you have a cooking spit and harvestable ingredients. And we also have these great paintings in the entryway. Let's go see the rest of the home. In the bedroom, you have a bed for two, with nightstands and dressers on either side, and a chest in front. To the right, you have a bookshelf with a chest for notes and journal storage, and a take me home spell tome for the house. This is nice since you don't have a map marker. And then you have two weapons racks next to that. On the other side of the room, you have a change appearance mirror, shrine of Debella, and a strong box. Next, you have shelves for some of the dragon claws and a mannequin, and this same combination is mirrored on the other side of the living room. You have seating for four, and check out that cool map. You can also turn the fireplace on or off by clicking on the fire. I'm going to leave it on. Next to the living room, we have a crafting area with ingredient storage, a chest for potion storage, an alchemy lab, soul gem storage, an arcane enchanter, and really nice decoration. There's a smithing parts chest above the door. Next to the door, there's a shelf for the insects in a jar. And then you have a chest for dragon priest mask storage. And then there's another chest for your armor a barrel for your weapons, and a few weapon plaques. And there's a better view of the Juniper Mead barrel. Let's take one more spin around before we head outside. Let's check out the outside. And look at that view. You can see Windhelm. Let's take a spin around for a preview. On this side of the back door, we have smithing storage, a mini smelter, anvil, and a tanning rack. Let's see what the other side has to offer. On this side, we have 21 fertile soils where you can plant whatever you want. You also have a beehive, named storage for fruits and veggies, and lavender. Lastly, we have this great Japanese cherry blossom shedding its leaves by a hammock, and a table with named storage for beverages, cooked foods, and fruits and veggies. And look at that view again. Time for some final thoughts. This location is spectacular. You have views for days. The home is small, but it does offer a bed for two and a hammock you could use for a follower. It has the majority of expected crafting stations, lots of named storage, and a spell tome to teleport you home. Hope you enjoyed this one. This concludes our tour of Cronepsis' Clear Spring Cottage. 
If you enjoyed the show, please click the like button and leave a comment with your thoughts. To see more of my past tours, click the playlist on the top left. To see my future content, click the channel icon on the bottom left to subscribe. And to never miss an episode, click the bell icon to receive notifications of when I post. As always, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next episode.